All right, everyone. It is the week of Christmas and Hanukkah and all the other holidays of the holiday season. Um, I want to start the video by hoping you guys have had a good holiday season so far. Um, I just got done having Christmas dinner with my family and uh, the weather is perfect to find some salamanders. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to head out. I'm going to pick up Ian and we are going to go out in search of the largest terrestrial salamander in the United States, the tiger salamander. So I will check in with you guys when we get to where we're going and hopefully we'll be able to find some salamanders. So I'll see you guys soon. So we're starting off tonight a little cooler than is perfect. This is a chilly 41 degree rain right now, but it's supposed to warm up throughout the night um, up into the mid 50s. So hopefully the forecast is true. All right guys, Ian and I have reached the roads we're gonna be hanging out on tonight, looking for tiger salamanders. Um, weather's perfect, it's gone up about four or five degrees. It's in the mid 40s now instead of the low 40s, which is nice. And uh, it's still raining steadily, so we're gonna cruise for a little bit. If we don't have any luck, we might start walking around, but I'll keep you guys posted. That is a sizable worm. Look at that, look at its veins, that is nasty. Am I gonna get demonetized for that? That is just gross, that is not cool. All right, here's our second spring peeper of the night. You see a lot of these in the videos closer to my house, so we're just gonna move them out of the road and keep looking for a tiger. Yeah. Next chirp of the night, southern leopard frog, trying his best to look like wood frog in the headlights. But first one of these guys we've seen tonight, and oh, there he goes. All right, we got a salamander. Yes, yes, it's a little tiger. He's tiny though. That's so cool. That is cool. Awesome. Finally. All right, we're gonna get some photos of this guy in a safer location. Get him out of the road. All right, guys, it is rainy. It is cold. It's windy. But here it is. Just what we came to see. Not the monster we were hoping for, but a tiger salamander nonetheless. And the first one I've seen in a while. So this guy is probably about a year old. Came from last year's babies. And they grow quite fast, obviously. And, uh... This guy could potentially grow up to be around a foot long at full size. So definitely an awesome find. Really the only thing of note we saw tonight. So it's been a little bit slow and I'll probably end up putting this video with a, uh, I'll probably end up putting this video with tomorrow night's video. <laughs> Bruh. There is a beaver on, look at he's coming towards us, dude. Oh my God, where's his eyeballs at, dude? Oh my God, we have to go look at him. I cannot believe this. My doors won't lock. Bruh, look at him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Me and Ian can't hurt without finding beavers, apparently. <laughs> that thing is so big and cantankerous, look at it. Oh my God. He's so big. Dude, I had no idea what it was. I thought it was like a, I don't know what I thought it was. Uh, I think he can go under right there. Yeah, he can just walk under. Nice. It's a big boy. We found a herp on the way out. Giant Southern Leopard Frog. Probably gonna be the last herp of the night. What is up guys? It is the next day. Last night was pretty productive. We got to find a single tiger salamander, uh, which wasn't the best, but we got what we were looking for. And today we are out again in Pigeon Mountain. And Pigeon Mountain is home to the Pigeon Mountain salamander, which is what we're hoping to see today. Uh, the salamander species that is only found in this one mountain in Northwest Georgia. So we're gonna go see if we can turn one up. We're also hoping to maybe see a green salamander today and some zigzag salamanders. So we'll see how this goes. All right, we're out here in our mostly still wet clothes from last night. And uh, we're about to start hiking this habitat, see if we can turn some salamanders up. So this is the habitat of the Pigeon Mountain salamander, this open, kind of rocky, super rocky forested hillside with lots of lichen. And uh, generally you'll find them out crawling around or in cracks in the rocks, and sometimes you can even flip them. So. So weather today is about 50 degrees so far and it's supposed to warm up into the mid 50s at some point today, but pretty good salamander weather. So basically our strategy is going to be hang out, 
around stuff like this and look in the cracks and see if we see salamanders, so. All right, guys, and just like that, after a couple minutes searching, there is our first Pigeon Mountain salamander of the day. These guys superficially resemble slimy salamanders, but as you can see, they have that really interesting brownish coloration on their back. They can be anywhere from green to this chocolatey brown. And if you'll notice, they have huge feet that are very clearly adapted for climbing in, and I were just talking about that. But really awesome. This is, if I, if I do say so myself, Georgia's most iconic amphibian, only found on Pigeon Mountain here in northwest Georgia. Uh, it's a pretty large, pretty large salamander. They get bigger than this, too. But anyways, we're going to get a couple quick photos of this guy and leave him right here. And hopefully we'll be able to turn up a couple more of these guys throughout the day. And I'll get to show you some other individuals and some variation in color. Alrighty, saying goodbye to our first Pigeon Mountain salamander of the day. A little bit of a look at the habitat for you guys. He was crawling in this crack. Alright guys, it might be kind of hard to hear me because of the waterfall, but I was in this little cavern right here and I looked up at the ceiling and this guy was looking down at me. That is a green salamander and our biggest target for the day. Heck yeah. All right, guys, this guy right here is our next salamander of the day. If he could not climb in my sleeve, this is a zigzag salamander, another one of the plethodonids that is very similar to the Webster's and redback salamanders that we see further south. But these guys are only really found in the state of Georgia here in the northwestern couple of counties. So pretty cool to see this guy, lifer for Ian, and one of very few that I've ever seen. So we're gonna get some photos of this guy and let him go. This is our third species of salamander for the day, right? We've just seen green Pigeon Mountain in this, right? Yeah. Nice. Three species so far. There is a baby Pigeon Mountain salamander in this crack. Let's see if I can get the focus on him. just flipped like a million zigzags they're going everywhere whoop and they're all the dull ones again all right here's Ian with at least three of the zigzags that were under that log there might have been more but they seriously flipped it they just started going everywhere imagine how many are under this one that one's actually kind of pretty though this guy's definitely got a little more pattern on him but still not quite the typical zigzag Guys, we found the zigzags. There's just one sitting here on the ground in the middle of the day. This is the log I was going to flip when, uh, oh, there's two. There's another one behind him when uh, I saw that one just sitting on the, there's so many zigzags here, it's crazy. All right, it's starting to get dark on us and especially dark in this part of the forest, but Ian just flipped another zigzag. This guy actually has a little bit of a nice pattern on him. We still haven't seen any colorful ones yet, but these guys have a little bit more modeling than the other one did. I'm a zigzag herper. <laughs> Well, it's starting to get dark on us, but here's another zigzag, number 300 for the day. All right, guys, we're about to go in there. Let's see if there's any salamanders. Uh, 
of gum. Nice. No salamanders yet. This is where you'd expect them. Guys, we have successfully found a salamander in the cave. It is a baby zigzag. Stuck to the rock right there. He is real tiny. There we go. That is what I wanted to see. What happened? Got a cave. Cave salamander in C2. Should I be worried about being able to get out of here? No, I mean, I've... I don't know. We should be able to get out. <laughs> oh, wow. Talk about cavernous. Yeah, it opens up nicely right here. Alright guys, here's another look at this cave salamander out in the open. These guys are not exactly cave adapted, but they do tend to spend a lot of their times right at the mouths of caves in the twilight zone. Like this area right here where this guy was found. You can see cave entrance is right there and there's a rocky forest surrounding us. But it's starting to get dark on us, so we're going to let this guy go. And we might end up calling it a day here pretty soon, but I will let you guys know if we see anything else. Hello cave dweller. Not a salamander. In fact, it might be an alien. Hello there. Found a cave dweller. This is either a baby slimy or pigeon mountain salamander, but I'm assuming slimy based on the fact there's nothing on his back yet. I don't know if they change any as they grow, but that is adorable. Very tiny. Fittingly enough, there's another cave salamander back there. You can barely even tell what that is, but <laughs> I promise it's a cave salamander. It's been forever since I've been in a cave. I'm super excited. Not too many salamanders in here today, but still, it's awesome to be back underground. Just see this crazy geology and even some animals utilizing it. Oh my goodness, look at them all. I'm guessing that's probably salamander food. There's nothing worse than coming into a beautiful remote cave. I mean, this cave isn't terribly remote, but still. And seeing stuff like this, where someone has written their name in the wall, it says 19 right there, which means that was written recently. It's just, it's depressing. Cave responsibly, be responsible in nature, sanitize your gear. You don't want to be tracking cave mud from cave to cave because it'll spread things like a white nose syndrome for bats. And even chytrid fungus for amphibians can spread through this. So, cave responsibly, everyone. Oh, a cave salamander. Nice. I'm kind of see him. He might let me get a little closer. That is a titan of a slimy salamander. That thing is huge. I'm going to see if I can get a better look at him. All right, guys. Night is falling here in northwest Georgia, and I'm currently headed back to the car. But, man, was it a fun day. We got to see everything we were looking for, basically, and uh, plenty of other stuff, too. So, anyways, this will probably end this video. I'll probably put it with last night since last night was so slow. And tomorrow is going to be nice and warm, so I'm going to be looking for snakes. So hopefully that will be the second video of the week. Thanks, Ian.